Jason, Clear Creek Farm, how are we doing today? Today we are going to talk about the ranch manager system, how it helps us manage our animals, our incomes, and our outgoes. <laughs> Today, Brooke is going to walk you through Ranch Manager Livestock Software System. It is one of the best ones we found. Um, it's reasonable. It's pay as you go. Um, if you only have a few animals, it will work great for you on managing your animals um, for your taxes and all that good stuff as well. Um, so Brooke is going to walk you through how it works. Um, they work on a contribution style um, for upgrades and stuff like that. So if you go on and you only use a couple things, you only get, you only pay what you want, basically. Um, we've always started out because we've used all the different systems. We pay the most amount. Um, so today, Brooke's going to walk you guys through this management system and why we like it. So this is uh, called Ranch Manager Open. It's ranchmanageropen.com. Um, you can go to any web browser and find it. This is what the page looks like if you don't already have it downloaded on your computer. <clears throat> and they do all kinds of different species. Um, basically, when you download it, when you decide that you're going to download it, you'll go through these steps and they'll ask you a bunch of questions and you choose which species you want to use it on. Obviously, I chose goats, um, but you can do all kinds. I mean, they even have one for deer um, or and dogs, which is really cool. Um, I chose to do, when I first started this, I chose to do level three, which is $150. And that's basically just to get started. And then after that, you do a contribution every year. Um, usually it's like 50 bucks, which is cheap for all the stuff that you get with it. Um, if you use it more, I generally only use it about once a year um, because um, of the tax stuff. We, we were, a couple years ago, we just had the, worst time ever with getting taxes organized and it was just the biggest pain in the butt so I wanted something that would help me organize um, taxes and this did it I'll I will show you how that works here in just a second but this made this made doing taxes and income and expense um, reports so much easier our tax lady even thanked us the first year that we handed her a report like oh my gosh this is so much better than the past so if you're looking for something to help you with your tax your farm tax stuff and your farm income and expenses i would really suggest using this um, it has helped tremendously and you can also um use it to keep track of like uh your herd members um who's died, who's, who you've sold, um, when they gave birth, uh, how much they gave birth. You can actually keep track of um, average daily gains on here. So if you're into doing like performance evaluations on your sires or even your does, um, this is a really good program to use that with as well. Also comes with, it's called the RM Cloud. I don't use it. I will show it to you here in a second, but I don't, I don't use it. Um, I, I'll show you the, the thing that I do on my phone to help me keep track of stuff out in the barn. So then I can bring it over here. But if you wanted to, so basically you download the system onto one main computer and then you can purchase the RM Cloud, which syncs up to all your other devices. So if like I wanted to sync it up to my phone and take it out into the barn and do all that stuff out there, I could. So you can use it on different devices. I just don't personally. Um, to me, it's just easier to whip out my phone and type something out real quick than it is to um, go through all the different steps. But I do eventually put everything in the ranch manager just to make it easier to you know manage everything and keep everything in track 
So we'll get out of this. So you can see I have it downloaded here on my laptop. And it's right here. So I'll open that up. And then you can see so you can see I first downloaded it in 2018. And then it gives you, see here's updates and then your contribution on the bottom, which I need to do. Um, but you, you can do goat herd. If you had cattle, that'd be cattle herd or dogs or goat or uh, sheep or swine. So, like I said in the beginning, you choose which species you want it to keep track of. So we have owners and contacts, uh, income expenses, goat breeds, locations, and scheduled journal. And there's, I mean, there's all kinds of features in here that you can use. I mean, I, I've had it obviously since 2018, and I'm still just scraping the surface on what I can do with this program. So I don't have anything in 2021, obviously. Uh, 2020, not yet, because I'm still working on taxes. Um, this is a 2018. Um, this is our expense sheet. So if I wanted to change over to income, I'd go here, income. And there's the income, which is not very much. 2019 was kind of a crappy year. And if I wanted to do both, there's the report. And this is the final report. This is generally what I print out for the tax lady. Um, she uses this. I'll print out the other sheets for her too, but this is the main sheet that she uses. I mean, it tallies up everything, tells her everything she needs to know. And if we wanted to go to goat herd, we go to select mode, goat herd. And I don't have all of our girls in here, obviously. Um, I just went through there and edited, took out a bunch that we had sold. But you can see all of our girls. So let's do, who do we want to do? Let's try, let's try Lacey. So then you can put all her, all of her information in here, notes, description, and additional info. This is stuff that I don't really use all that much. Animal tracking. So if you had, like, if they had an RFID tag, we could keep track of all that event history. This is be like kidding stuff. Um, notes, pedigree, offspring. You can see I haven't used this part <laughs> a whole lot. I have to uh, kind of play with it a little bit because usually I've just done it for the expense and um, income part because that's mainly what I needed it for. So we'll go back to that. So we'll start with putting in an expense sheet. Um, this is from a dough, a couple doughs we bought last spring. So we'll go ahead and put that in there into expense. Let's see, the date was 15th of February. We'll leave that there. 2020 amount was 1200. All right, let's see. I don't know if they're in here already or not. Yep. Okay, see, so now it's up there. Put it all in there. Now, if I wanted to do a, if I wanted to do a income, just went to the select view, hit income, and then you come back over here to actions, create new income entry, and this is from our uh, local sale barn for last spring. Let me just come over here and change the date. This one is the 4th, 25th, April 2020, amount 104, 40. So there you can see that it's up there now. If we go back to expenses, that one's up there. Um, and I'll just keep going down the list until I get them all entered. And then I will go ahead and do the, um, the report to print out for the tax lady. So let's go back to goat herd. So there's also a, a buck one here too that I obviously have to update. But the nice thing about this 
program is it automatically calculates the latter year. As you can see here, Mr. Street is F because he's a 2016, and so was War Machine. It was an F. So I, I don't have to do that. It automatically calculates that for me, which is really nice. That way I don't have to keep track of what letter year the animal was born in. And then come back here and switch back to the does. Um, so we come here, go to add, come down here, create new animal. Display name would be Tina. Name would be PH. F. Ryan Fox Tina. And if she had any, uh, I mean, it even, even comes with option of plastic tag, metal tag, microchip, or neck tag. Um, obviously, she doesn't have any of those, so we'll do the tattoo numbers. So G179 slash. H C F registration number is one oh seven nine zero two seven one. And see, so you can put tracking number on there, country, which obviously we're in the. If I want to put breeder in here, put G H C farm right there. So, sire, we'd add a new sire, uh, and then just a registration number. I usually don't do any of the other stuff on here. Obviously, well, breed, I will because he's a boar. Um, but, like, the birth dates and all that stuff, I don't know any of that information because all the papers say is the name of the animal and the registration number. Um, so, that stuff I obviously can't put in here unless there's something that I raised and that will all go on there. But it's nice just to have these numbers in case you need them for some reason, which I have before in the past. Sometimes you sometimes you scramble around looking for paperwork. Oh my gosh, I need this animal registration or I don't know it. You know, you can just open up Ranch Manager and it's all right there. So we'll hit save. Don't forget to put the birth date in there because then it won't let you enter in. So now she's in there, we can go back to the list, and she's right there. And then I can go back in if I want to click on her again and put in all this other stuff, like offspring, event history. Those are really, offspring, event history, and gestation history are probably the only three that I would actually use out of this. Um, obviously, I don't need feed history because she's a brood doe. She's not a market animal. Um, obviously I'm not going to track her everywhere. So usually what I do is I make a note in my phone because I always have it in my pocket and when I'm out in the barn and I see something um, of note I'll write it down here like this is all the bucks who they're, who's bred to them, uh, when they were bred, when their kidding date is. So I have that all right here and then I'll write down kidding info on here as well like when they kid, um, what they had, and then I'll go, once they're registered and they get tattoos, I'll go back here and write all this down. And then after that, I'll come and I will put all this info into here, which is what I was working on today. And then that way, it's all right here and, all, and I can just print it out. So the reason why we chose Ranch Manager, um, I, I tried other, um, I tried Goatbook, and I didn't, it was complicated to use um, I didn't it didn't really do what I wanted it to do especially for the uh, income and expenses it did not do what I wanted it to do at all this is really the only system that I found that keeps track of the expenses and the income and actually has a final report um, which is exactly what I wanted so that's why I went with ranch manager I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's the best livestock management system out there. So if you're looking for one, this is the one that I would highly, highly recommend. Um, if, you, if you have done a lot with Excel spreadsheets, you'll love this because it's very similar to Excel. 
So if you're really good at Excel, you will, you will be very good at this and you will really like running this program. Even if you're not familiar with Excel, which I am not, Excel is not my friend. I did never like Excel. Um, I still have no problems with this, running this program. So if you're not good at that kind of stuff, don't worry about it. You, will, you won't have any problems with this. It did not take me long at all to figure out how to use it. Um, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. And like I said, you can just play with it. There's all kinds of features, all kinds of cool little buttons to push. When you first download this, like I said earlier, you can choose the species you want. You can also, like right now, I just have it for goats. But if you had multiple species that you are trying to manage, you can do that. You just um, toggle between the two um, on here. I can't show you that because obviously I only have it for goats. Um, but you can manage two species, two or three species at a time. For all you guys that asked us about our management system, hopefully this helped you guys out. Um, Brooke does all the management. I really don't. Um, so Brooke deals with all the management on the farm stuff. Um, and it don't matter if you're big or small, this system will work for you. And if you're running goats or any type of animal, you should be doing it as a business because in the long run, if not today or tomorrow, but years down the road and stuff, it might turn into a business that you want to be able to manage your money and want to know where your money's going. And it's always nice to know that. So thank you guys for coming along and see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.